Hi Troy, this is a short video on how to import stuff. So let's see, so I went to setup here and then I typed in import and this is a data import wizard. I think this is a safer way to import leads that would be record type vendor, right? And this is how we'll do it. Prepare the data, import it, launch the wizard and uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. It's better than the data loader. Once we have it loaded into leads, which is up here, then we can have a lead type, you know, the record type testing. I have one here. Someone, one means campaign testing one, Hohen's Jurgen. And we can look here into the campaigns. This is where we run Pardot against it. This is the vendor campaign, test campaign to Amigos. And this is the only one here. You see that? And so, but there's no call off here. I haven't enabled the, uh, this is the soft phone. This is talk desk. It's not as functional as inside sales dialer, which is the whole call center thing that Karina wanted, you know, with all the training, the quiet listening. This is a straightforward click to call call thing, right? So, but the real issue is I created then a campaign calls down thing and we can do that and then from here right here when I reset this we'll have a click to call and then we can have the status and log call and there's a disposition thing here right that's how we do it we can even say sent responded who's the owner right that's me and once that happens we talk blah 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 then I've got actually an invoice object in here and we can create a new invoice. This invoice is for instance for the test, test company. For instance, this is how it's done. And then who is it in there? That guy. Let's see if the guy's there. Uh, go. Oh, well, look, it's actually Julie Test. Due date is uh, that. Terms are net 30. I don't know if there are any terms. Right. Uh, enter down payment a percentage, invoice total, special handling, things like that. Um, let's see. Shipping invoice percentage. We should be pretty good here. There's an error here. External invoice number. Do, do we have that recurring invoice? Um, save. Now, let's add a product. So now we have the invoice template. And here we can add a product. We can add products to a price book, literally, right? Or we can add a new invoice line item. One. Uh, five, four, unit price, I don't know, a thousand. Um, what's a product? We have a spec meeting product, actually, that's how it should work. Save. There we go. That's from the price book. See, and the price book is over here, amount 12,000, 3,000 each. It's overrode the price book. The price book. We have the price book for each customer here, and we can see this is the price book that I can associate to Endeavor. This is just spec meeting. I have a product code, and how much is it? $5,000, and it's active. So we can have a price book that's not active versus standard. We can have one that's standard, and then everything else, and then we can clone it. So here, for instance, is the invoice, right, that I just created for $12,000, right? So let's click on it. Now I can print or email it. Hey, no problem. We are going to invoice you something. I'm going to put this into my Gmail, right? So I can see it here offline. Send me a copy of the invoice. After attaching, attach it to Salesforce. Here it is. And here's where they can click, right? Pay online. This is what I just set up. Boom, sent, closed window, it's successful. Right now, now I'm going to go actually into 
need to open up my so so now let me open that up gmail.com come on man takes forever well anyways so now let me just stop the recording for a second <laughs>